Hello, this is my first preliminary 2023 to 2024 winter outlook. Let's get right into it. Like and subscribe. This is a typical El Nino pattern for the winter. There will be an extended Pacific jet with warmer waters in the Pacific and cooler waters in the Atlantic. It would be cooler and wetter in the southern United States, dry in the Ohio Valley and northeast and potentially some in the Midwest, and then warm in the north. However, this year is going to be very, very different. First of all, the Atlantic is so warm we have no records of an El Nino year getting this warm. Right here you can see the El Nino pattern with really warm sea surface temperatures in the Pacific. A strong El Nino would bring heavy warmth to the north and cold to the south. It would also bring widespread wet conditions with the exception of the Rockies and the Ohio Valley. Meanwhile, a weak El Nino would bring cooler conditions to the east and warmer conditions to the west and will bring drier conditions across the board with the exception of the northeast, the southeast, and some of the Rockies. In general, the models are showing a moderate to strong El Nino still developing for this winter. This would generally bring cooler conditions across the board and then uh, drier conditions or average conditions for the majority of the United States. I think the jet stream is most likely going to play a heavy role in how accurate this is. All in all, I expect the Rockies, the Upper Plains, the Midwest, and also the Northwestern United States to have above average temperatures. Meanwhile, the southern United States can have below average temperatures, especially in the deep southeast and Arizona and New Mexico. I decided to leave Michigan, eastern Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio all in average or slightly below average conditions because I think there are, there's a possibility because of the polar jet for a few strong Arctic blasts this winter. And I think those areas other than those heavy Arctic blasts are going to be near average or slightly above average. So really those areas are the uncertainty zone. The northwestern United States can expect much drier than normal conditions. Meanwhile, I expect that a lot of the southwestern United States can expect moderately above average precipitation because of the subtropical or Pacific jet. I also expect that the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, and exterior or coastal northeast can expect uh, above average precipitation because of nor'easters and the polar jet bringing down systems from Canada while there's cold air in place, potentially bringing snowstorms. All right, now here's where it gets really interesting. Here's my snowfall forecast. And I suspect that there will be more snowfall than average in a lot of the Midwest and Ohio Valley. And also the coastal Northeast and Mid-Atlantic where there could be nor'easters and snowstorms coming down from the polar jet. I also expect a little bit of a bullseye near uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, Dallas, because I expect there'll be more moisture in that area uh, where storms could trek from the subtropical or Pacific jet. And the same thing goes for the mountainous regions for the uh, western United States around Nevada. Here's my severe weather prediction. And I expect over Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, a little bit of North Carolina, and primarily Florida, that we could get some significant severe weather in the deep south and southeast in that area. Then I expect there's a thin layer around Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, where we could be getting significant severe weather as well. There is also an area of severe weather from Texas to, Miss to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Virginia. And also I expect that if we can get warmth all the way up to Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, we can maybe in December or February get a little bit of a maybe marginal risk of severe weather at some point whenever there's a cold front going through. And that would most likely, as soon as the cold front go through, transition into a snow event. And here is my overall forecast. In the United States, I suspect it'll be warm. And then I expect it will be dry in a lot of the Rockies, like Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. And then 
in the yellow in Colorado to Kansas to Texas. I expect there'll be the area where the, where it's flip-flop, where storm systems will be fighting against each other and things will be going very, very back and forth throughout this winter. In the deep south and the southeast, that is where I expect the most of your weather. And then last but not least, in the northern uh, in the northeastern quarter of the United States, I expect there to be lots of snowstorms, especially in the Midwest and Ohio Valley and the Mid-Atlantic, where I expect uh, bigger snowstorms and nor'easters to go through and potentially be a much bigger event. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and why not throw a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Bye!